Alright, what is up guys? As always, welcome back to another OV game versus Sad from um, Discord group. And uh, yet again, I'm facing off against steep stuff. <laughs> you know, you're asking for OU, you, you get OU. And uh, this is a very, very ferocious team for sure. And I'm really sad I don't have a fire type or a Volcania, which would have really, really beaten this team up a little bit. That said, however, I do see a few matchups that could be interesting for me, and um, I'm starting to think Armaldo should have in Soul Stance and Low Kick. And <laughs> um, I'm gonna lead off with Forkbeard again, um, as his team, every Mon is grounded, so I can I am free to Earthquake versus everything of this, though there are Mons there that do take the Earthquake really well. I also only see one Defogger in Tabu Fini, which, by the way, I probably don't beat. But I can definitely try my best to um, to try to get something going. So with that said, just said, good luck, have fun, of course, and uh, damn, our Mother Week is tough indeed. <laughs> Not starting out strong here for sure. So let's see, leads off with. Lapis Lazul, that's a feeling name, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Moonblast. Nature Power. Maybe Scald. Recipe for Disaster. So I'm gonna send in Lambda. Basically, it could have Nature Power uh, to lower my HP by 50%, but he can't Scald burn me. I definitely force him out and bring in, hopefully, uh, Veraphon. So, yeah, we're gonna stomach that just fine. Or not fine, we're gonna stomach it. Yeah, yeah, we're in this. And uh, thanks to Regenerator, I don't, uh, that was a crit. Yeah, yeah, we're standing tall here. Um, Giga Rain or Pollen Puff? Like, Veraphon is such an easy switch in. Yeah, it's maybe too easy. It's maybe too easy. Honestly, in Sulphur, I definitely wouldn't stay in if I were him. I really hope for a fair phone. Phoenix, that's um, actually that's not bad. That's not bad. The only unfortunate part here is that I am just really, really, really heavily designed to. Uh, I really hope I see a protect so I can agility up here. <laughs> I don't know what crates I want to get. Yeah, which draws nice to Armageddon. Yeah, that's not nice. That's not nice. I don't. I have a sand-based weather ball, however, which is kind of cool. Um, hmm. Don't necessarily want to waste it just yet. I'm gonna send Basile Fufu, basically lose his special defense and I get some really nice um, damage output maybe. But I sure as hell won't enjoy Stone Edge. But I think that's obvious enough. Ugh. And we're taking it. And we are definitely killing it. So. I mean, a Weather Ball is kind of fair. Tabu Fini comes in, or Fathorn. Both we can kind of stomach that just fine. I really need to find a way to set up a Game of Thorns, yeah. The only positive part about this is that um, I get some really... Like, I get some chip on it. It's not the strongest hit out there, but it's damage. And it's leftovers. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Fatty, fatty, fatty team. Fatty, fatty, fatty team. It was real nice with low kick now. So, sulfur. The only thing I see my opponent being able to do is set up potentially rocks or whatnot. Jara Ball shouldn't do anything, Power Whip shouldn't do anything, Bullet Seed is definitely up there, but shouldn't also not be doing anything. 
So, if I were him, I bring in Agron again, right? Or Tranzar. So I'm gonna send Forkbeard. Or actually, just a nice Hurricane would have been. Just get some real damage in here. He does his own withdrawal, so Tranzar is well, obvious enough. Really just hope. What is it, 50% chance of landing? <laughs> just hope I get something going. Um, hurricane. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was gonna happen. Why did I stay in? Now we're on a stone edge. Could send in big spray. You can always crunch though. Yeah, sending forth bad damage. Just get some damage in here. Stone Edge is neutral and should do like one fourth maybe. He can also miss. A bit or one fourth, that's fine. I earthquake for free here. If it decides to stay in it would be nice because I really oh trust me, trust me, that's not gonna do anything. Hell yes. Hell yes. Damage to the people. Oh, weakness policy. Well, well, now we're talking. That's not nice. Um, that's problematic, actually. So, we'll do this. <laughs> Damn it. I really hope it goes for another fire punch. This is weird. Oh wait, he withdraws. You know what? I'll take that. Tilapi Lasuli. Huh. Why though? Why though? I'm actually kind of surprised by that play. Don't get me wrong, I'll take it. I just don't understand it. So, I do kind of want to own this if I can, but I don't enjoy switching into anything of this. But, because it's switching Lambda, which basically walls Tapufini, or at least an extent, Moonblast. Yeah, and I actually think I'll take that just fine. Yeah, yeah, we're in this. We are in this. I'm going to go for a Pollen Puff here. Because I think uh, Ferrophone comes in, War Blaziken again, Phoenix. That's um, that's a. I was gonna say that's not um, the one I want to see. Poland Puff should still do something. Yeah, very unimpressive. Um, hmm. All right. I'm thinking Soul Stance. Come on, Disease 19. Flare Blitz. Oh, that's aggressive. That's very aggressive. Half power, though. You know what? I can do that. Life Orb. Now Speed Boost. The worst part is, I got Earthquake. I really hope I'm faster, by the way. Yeah, he switches out. I get that. To Ferrafon. No Lapis Lazuli. An earthquake should do nothing really. No, no, it's fine. It's fair. Because the range stop, which is definitely not good. And I'm a sitting duck here even with leftovers. Because I don't wanna take a scold. Oh, and now none of us we we are not enjoying statuses, none of us. Basically, what I need to happen is, um, I mean, I have one of those very weird back and forth, which definitely aren't benefiting for me, um, because, let's face it, Scald, what is that, Giga Drain, maybe, Surf, fine. I just, it's a matchup, I just don't care, I can't win it. Or, I, I beat the matchup with, um... With Elder Gods, naturally, but Blaziken comes in and out, there's nothing to it. 
I need to set up rocks, and I can only do that with a Ferrothorn and Mel Metal. Um, right, this time I get rain. The side would draw again, which I think, like I said, is fair. Two Phoenix. And uh, Gigarine should do more in Pollen Puff, at least. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, setting in Belzebub and stacking it, naturally. Um, I just really wonder... Um, Flare Blitz again. Yeah, and that's... Oh, no, no, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. <laughs> now, I am Scarfed, which is, in its own right, kind of nice. But... Um, how did I manage to survive that? Flare Blitz is kind of safe. Um, so is Earthquake. Yeah, I was just about to say, so is Earthquake. Ooh, look, another one of those rounds with 2 HP. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, however, um, he is now at plus 2. So Earthquake, like I said, is really, really, really safe. So... What I'm gonna do is switch back and forth. To be honest, I don't know whether or not I can take a Flare Blitz. Like, I will definitely take an Earthquake, but... I feel Flare Blitz is kinda stretching it. So I need to trust in Forkbid to be able to stomach this hit. Basically, like, I gotta hope for uh, like if somehow if I survive it, hopefully I can just ice shot it. But if it goes for fighting move, then it's not gonna be pretty. Sorry, let's please, please fork bed. This is insane though. This is awesome. I think life fork kills him actually. Nice, please you can never had a chance. Or actually did, but uh, I'll, I'll manage. Oh, that was not pretty. Oh, that was not pretty. What comes in now, Feeny? <laughs> Mel Metal, my old friend and nemesis. I really want these rocks up. I really do. Yeah, I gotta try this. Wait, is he scarfed? He is scarfed. He is scarfed. Oh, that's kinda spicy. That's kinda spicy. Alright, alright, fine. So I'm going to go for Metal Sound. And I think Tabufini or Ferrothorn comes in. Oh, he stays in. That was kind of interesting. I don't think Aaron Double Bash does. No, he wasn't Scarf. He was really speedy. Then that was my mistake. Damn. All right, fine, fine. Can I kill a metal metal? I mean, without any, I mean, it can be a salt vest maybe, but I'm plus one, plus he's minus two. Yeah, there you go, nice. Sometimes I just, it's not the win, it is the tick to kind of get a kill that's kind of gets me going a bit. That was actually kind of cool. For Verdelet. 
Yeah, there is the God Chomp. For anybody who knows who Vertolet is, I could just say that's one of the most magnificent pocket tubers there is. And um, this guy gonna beat me silly. I have no way of beating that guy. In theory, I don't have that. He can scale shot freely, and he can sword stance freely. I really hope he doesn't have um, scale shot. If he has scale shot, I believe that's a wrap. That's the earthquake. I can do earthquake. That's fine. Wow, that did a lot. Question is whether or not his life orb or anything like that. I'm gonna get right in here. I really hope he's scuffed. He must be, because if not, then I don't know what to do. This is a withdraw, which is a good thing. I like that. Two Game of Thrones. Now, I gotta ask myself. What can a Ferrophone do versus me? I don't believe our exchange are that interesting. I can rapid spin versus this, I can pull and puff for neutral damage. Jarable should do a fair chunk. Let's find out. It's one of the weirdest things I'll probably do, but yeah, we're not doing a lot of damage for sure. And that key drain will do a lot more. That was a crit also, okay fine. But yeah, we're not making headways here, that's for sure. Um it's the lack of switch-ins that kind of gets me a bit sad. Because I don't want to sack that, I really don't want to sack the C's. Or actually, I guess I could do that. Ah, oh, this is weird. Because I like, I like the idea of shifting him down, but in the end of the day I lose by trying to stop it, so... Yep, second disease. It's weird, but it's my only play. Lead seed. Why would you do that then? I mean, he gets recovery now for sure. But I just don't get me wrong here. I'm I'm, I'm more wondering than anything else. Because let's think about this. In theory, Agil Slash lose the matchup, hands down. But, but, I need some weird momentum, and that weird momentum I will only get by actually somehow ruining this guy by getting him some good damage. And if it switches in Tyranitar, I really hope I can get some type of momentum. Protect. So wait, protect lead seed, huh? Protect lead seed jar ball. So he's a stalling variant, for sure. Kind of want a metal sound here. Oh, we're only three minutes left to balance? Okay, I guess I'm going super aggressive then. That's not what I wanted to see. That's really not what I wanted to see. I'm just gonna wrap the game up best I can then. At this point, I really don't have any other option. I need to somehow wrap up the game. Oh, it's not nice. I guess I didn't have the stomach power to really, like, offensively break through this matchup naturally. Uh, but that's my mistake, honestly. Um, good, he just said it. Because what I want is uh, just so much damage in there as possible. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Because I do recognize that he can't beat, um, actually, my, um, <laughs> he can't beat the 
my other gas, but I can't. We can't get into wrap up, which is really bad. Some good pressure. I'm gonna thunder here. Um, yeah, I'll thunder. Fuck it. At this point, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, but I really, really like this. Is probably the only like big, big problem with um, the um, the timer. It is that it doesn't matter which type of situations you are in because all of a sudden the timer ends. Even if my elder gods in theory can't be beaten by any of his remaining months, um, it still won't matter because here it comes for Verdelet. You know he gets to wrap up. I, I realized that I should probably had. Uh, I'm just sacking here. Miss! No. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Like, no matter what I do at this point, um, I still lose no matter what. Because this guy, in theory, or I would have switched back and forth, but um, Elder Gauss don't necessarily lose versus Garchomp. Lead, however, the Stonish will do a significant chunk, uh, for sure. I think it will do at least 40%, something like that. But I would have preserved my mods another way with that in mind. Also, he could miss. It's not even that. Like, there is no way he can defeat the Elder by any of his remaining mods. And that sucks. A lot. Because I would take out Gar Tyranitar with Giga Drain, I would take out Tapu Fini with... You know, you see this, right? In theory, I am, I am cool. I am really cool. So, yeah, these 20 minutes, I hate them because... Sometimes when you get this bit of a bulkier game, and I'm my side of course a bit on the bulky side too, you just don't get that back and forth, which is so heavily needed. So too sad. Um, very much GG. Great game. Um, we really couldn't speed this through a lot faster than we did because your team was naturally a bit bulkier, and my team struggled to break the core. So between Feeny and Ferroforn, there was I just didn't have the like the muscle of getting through that. So I really want to say GD, I'd really enjoy myself here and hope to battle you soon again with maybe a more offensive team to be able to break your uh, bit more bulkier playstyle, hopefully. Um, so with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this battle and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, as always, take care everyone. Bye.